by 4 in the afternoon. A uh, door-to-door -door sales company takes hundreds of dollars but doesn't deliver. So Katrina Cravey and Context 6 tried to find some answers in a very unusual place. I'm Josh, I work with Fox 6. Can we talk to you about Andre Smith real quick? We want answers from a woman who probably has them, but she gets shoved into a bathroom. We just want to know why you are working with a company. Contact 6 wants to know because people like Ann Wilson want us to blow the whistle on a company called Dreamers of America with door to door salesmen with heart wrenching stories. He wants to make a better life for himself and his child, and, and he's doing this, you know, to hopefully make that happen. Wilson paid 50 bucks for a new teapot and was so moved by the man's story, she threw in a tip. As the kid's leaving, I borrowed $20 from my son to give to this guy to buy his son something <laughs> on his way out the door. So I just take it a little extra. <laughs> you gave him an extra 20 bucks? Yeah, yeah. That was the last Wilson heard from him, and she never saw that new teapot. And she's not the only one. Context 6 spoke with two other victims of the company who lost more than $400 combined. Turns out Dreamers of America has an F rating with the Better Business Bureau and multiple complaints filed with the BBB and Consumer Protection. And now a family member who doesn't want to be identified has come forward. They started in California and they will work throughout California going up and down the state, going up to the coast. They will make it here and then they'll keep going all the way to New York. She says she knows the people behind Dreamers of America. Andre Smith, whose face was listed on the website as the company CEO, and a woman named Nikita Martina. She says they had a plan. Nikita and Andre knew what they were doing, but they still consistently kept pulling through with it. Nikita was still going out, walking around with him side by side. They were still recruiting people on the south side of Milwaukee and the north side of Milwaukee. One of those recruits was LaPrentice County. His name appears on the company's official corporate record, and his cell phone voicemail says, Thank you for calling Dreamers of America, LLC. Smith says LaPrentice is the one behind the company, but LaPrentice tells Contact 6 he's now working a different door to door job in Detroit. Hoping for answers, we tracked down Martina. She defended Andre after hiding from my producer in the ladies' room. And it is not Andre's fault. Andre did not give those people permission to go and take money from those people. And because it was Andre's business, it all backfired on him. And because Andre's my child's father, it's backfiring on me. But this family member says that's simply not true. She said he's the victim and she's the victim. No. Told you, you can't be a victim if you know exactly what you're doing. We're told Dreamers of America is no longer in operation, and to date, none of the customers that we talk to have gotten their money or their products. So, how do you save your money? If any door to door salesman comes a knocking, ask for their name, the company's name, the address, and the phone number, and then tell them you want to take a little time before you buy and check them out on the Better Business Bureau's website. Read all the reviews. If they're legit, they won't care, and if they're not legit, then you've just saved your money for someone who really needs it. I'm Katrina Cravey, Contact 6. If you have a consumer issue or an investigation idea for Katrina, call Contact 6 at 414-586-2666. Or better yet, fill out their complaint form on the Contact 6 page of our website, fox6now.com. They will, as you just saw, go anywhere to get a story. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely delightful out there today, Vince. Birds out, sun's out, everybody was out walking the dog. Absolutely. Great weather today. We've got more of the same coming up for the next few days. If you are an